Stevie Wonder can play the drums. The guy can play just about anything. He's a genius. Put him behind any instrument and he'll get you a song out of it. And probably a classic one. And during this classic Stevie Wonder period in the 70s, he played most of the drums on all his songs. He's got a really interesting style. It's kind of clunky in a good way, like Charlie Watts. It fits his music perfect, and if you put somebody else in there, you lose kind of the feel of it. So it only makes sense that he would be doing most of the drum tracks. Stevie was a machine in the studio back then. He would go for 48 hours straight recording. And back in the 70s, Stevie would bring the drum set out in the middle of his show and he would play some drums. plays with Jimi Hendrix on the BBC sessions. They do two songs. One of them is called Jammin' and then one is like a cover, instrumental cover of I Was Made to Love Her. And they tear it up. I'm Fran Cappuccinelli, by the way. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're making this video. I saw Stevie play a few years back when he was doing the Songs in the Key of Life tour. He did that album front to back. He didn't bring the drum set out, but he brought this other thing called a harpeggi. I guess he's always wanted to play guitar, and there's this thing called a harpeggi. It's more like a keyboard. Hi, I'm Walter, and in this video we'll be looking at the Harpeggi notes layout. You might see that it also resembles the keyboard. just about anything, it's really easy for him to build tracks in the studio. And we started the first track with keyboards. I then put a drum track down. The song I Wish, which is on Songs in the Key of Life, and the bass line is just so powerful. It grooves so hard and it gets more intense as it gets further into the song. Nathan Watts, he is just tearing it up and he does this little up high on the bass. It's a really great accent. <laughs> it's just doing something that you never hear the bass really do. The drums are so perfect. They have such a great groove to them. If you listen to it with headphones, you can hear like there's two different hi-hat tracks going on. There's a hi-hat on the right side that is doing something a little bit different than the left side. Let's check it out.
reminds me of a, a McCartney bass line. Tinelli. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell me into the sound. Check out my website, tellyinthesound.com.